Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm just rehousing some larvae. These are just some random larvae. If you go to my website, they are for sale. Random larvae. Literally random. No clue what they're going to turn into whatsoever. So, yeah, we're just going to move them to some new containers. These three, preferably, are what they're going to be put inside of. Sorry, my voice sounds like a little hoarse. I'm a little sick. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, the first larvae, let's just check them out. Oh, I need to get some newspaper or something. I'll put it on top of another larva. Okay, so let's check out the first larva. Damn, that's hard with one hand. Now we're just gonna dump them out right here. And he's right here. Very small. Not very. Hopefully he's not a June bug, but I doubt he is. Most of these I checked and made sure they're bigger than a June bug larva. I might have made a, bit, a mistake with this one, but we'll use him just in case. I don't know. He could maybe not be a June bug larva. So let's get his enclosure repaired. <coughs> <coughs> this was an old larva's container. Yeah, so we're just going to use this. There actually is a dead larva in here. I made the mistake of not putting holes in the, in the, what's it called, in the container itself. And now I'm using my foot to get a larva out. Isn't that an everything, everyday normal thing? I need a better container, hold on. Yeah, I'll just use this. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got the larva out, so now it's just whatever was left in there. This is just good dirt still. This is this a piece of wood? No, it's... It's every pieces. Okay, so... Since these are from semi-desert places, I'm gonna give them a little bit of a... Mixed up substrate. So I'm gonna take this. And the sawdust. Let's bring it in there. I made sure this is not sawdust from, like... Pine or anything. Any trees bad for larva. See, so yeah, I just gonna flip up right about there. That's not much, but that's all I need. And then I'm gonna put the larva to the side and dump his old substrate into here. Mix it around just a little bit and give it a nice contrast. And then fill up to the top with this mixture. And since there's already dead matter, because the bottom, this is actually like decomposed leaves, old wood. The very bottom is pure wood and like a little bit more up. Right about there is like old leaves and stuff. And I guess the top is mostly is soil and sand. And that little middle part right there would be sawdust. So it's a pretty good mixture, I think. I could be worse. So let's just poke a hole in there. Around the side. Once again, using my foot to help me. Just throw them in there. So that guy shouldn't come out. So let's do the next one. Okay, so I'm really low on substrate. So this time, what I'm going to do, I'm. this is just like almost pure wood. It's very dry though, so I'm going to spray it down. Okay, this isn't working. Let me try it. Okay, so now it's sprayed down a little bit. So yeah, and now I'm just going to go ahead and dump it in with the rest of the substrate. I'm actually really running really low on substrate, which isn't good. So, um, my one of my nice videos is going to be... Uh, Going to the park and just collecting substrate and ripping apart trees looking for larva. That should be a pretty good, interesting video. And anywhere in between tomorrow and Monday, I'll be having some really awesome videos. Unboxing some cool stuff from some cool places. Uh, that also includes making kimchi, the actual kimchi, not this 
crappy messed up way that I tried if you watched my previous previous video or not previous but like I don't know it's quite a while back okay so now I just gotta fill up this jar but yeah hopefully y'all enjoy those videos because those should be pretty interesting as well especially the unboxing ones those should be pretty cool So yeah, there we go. Now let's just take out the larva. Oops. Just take out the larva. Like I said, it's hard to do this with one hand. Okay, that's nice. The larva's around the top. <sighs> yeah, this is definitely not a June bug. This is a little bit bigger, not very much bigger. I mean, he could be, he could just be an oversized chew bug, but chances are very likely. Oops, okay. Yeah, let's look at the other one real quick. So he already dug away, he's right there. If y'all can see that. I don't know, but you can see the little shiny, he's right there. So yeah, let's get to the next one. Let's dump his substrate in there. Let's mix it up a little bit. This is actually a really good substrate. I never thought sand could help it. I thought sand would always make it worse. But nope, it's actually really nice. Let's try adding a little bit of uh, sawdust to it. See if that gives any more contrast in the water. See so yeah, how let's get the next one opened. And put it in there and start filling it up. And hopefully, all these larvae will pupate. <coughs> <coughs> Let's put the last larva. <sighs> Oops. Okay. So, yeah, here he is. And let's just go ahead and throw him in here. Hold on. In he goes. Yeah, so that's just about it. And I also made some new substrate for me. So I can have extra if I need it. Because I've actually been really running really low on substrate lately. Okay, yeah, so that's just about it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Peace out.